One. The ringing phone ripped through my sleep like a buzzsaw. I caught it on the fourth ring, nearly knocking the lamp off the end table in the process. Squinting through blurry eyes, I could barely make out the time. 3.11am. This can't be good, I muttered out loud. Even though I was alone, hoping for the wrong number, I barked, What? James Durley Jr.? The official sounding voice asked. A little hair stood up on the back of my neck. Who wants to know? Officer Robert Ramos, Metro Police, sir. A brief horrible moment, I pictured my seven-year-old daughter, Jenny, dead in the gutter. But that was impossible. Jenny was in Salt Lake with her, my ex-wife, Joy. And Salt Lake is as far as I know, outlawed gutters. Years ago. Trying to sound casual despite my heart beating double time, I asked, What can I do for you, officer? They hit your place again. Shit, I'm on my way. In time, it would have taken to ask more questions. I could be there. Wide awake now. I threw on a pair of faded jeans and a UNLV sweatshirt. I fumbled for my keys, a million thoughts racing from my mind. How the hell could they have gotten past my new super high-tech security system? Maybe it's true what cops say. But locks and alarms only keep out honest people. And honest people are on short supply here in Vegas, or anywhere else for that matter. I took the steps two at a time. As I flung open the front door, a blast of cold air hit me in the face, sending an involuntary shudder through my body. Even after more than twenty years in the godforsaken desert, I still surprised with extreme temperatures, too fucking hot in the summer, too go down cold in the winter. Probably a lot like living on the moon, except for gambling. Jumping in my 97 Mazda 626, the last, the last sensible remnant of my married days, I peeled out of the driveway and headed for my bar. A screeching noise would, would most likely jar a neighbour or two out of their restful night's sleep. God, I thought with grim satisfaction, why should I be the only one up on a night like this?